Hi and welcome to this brief overview of Artist 2. My name is Quentin Brown from the Internet Marketers Club and we have been teaching people for years how to utilize the great attributes of the WordPress website development tool to build strong healthy online businesses. In our coaching system we used to get our students to go and find free themes which a lot of internet marketers do. However, the big difficulty in this is that they varied so much in how the creators put them together, in both the PHP and the CSS styling sheets. The other problem was, if you added certain things, many would not work or change the styling, so it was a constant battle to do repairs and maintenance and work out how each one was created. Well, this is all a thing of the past now, with the introduction of Artista. The initial release last year was a huge success and our students took to it immediately as it gave them the ability to create their own professional looking customized theme which meant they were no longer using the free themes that thousands of others were using but could produce their own individual styles without worrying about it being overused. Recently they have bought out version 2 and the improvements and customization features are unbelievable. So let's go in and have a look. When you first start Artista, you can choose a number of different options to build your theme, whether for a WordPress system, Drupal, Joomla or straight HTML. However, we will utilize the WordPress theme in this tutorial. Once the program has loaded, you will see a default theme. And by clicking on the Suggest Design button, you will be presented with a huge variety of different layouts. This Suggest button is available in most of the various menus. So if you are not sure how you want your theme to look, this will provide numerous options. You can just go through the whole system using the Suggest option or you can dig right in and customize every little feature. In the colors and fonts, you can manipulate the complete look and feel of your theme. The drop down colors will give you ideas for your color style and they provide color combinations which you can use or fully customize. Added to that, choose your fonts, style size and typography. Now let's look at the layout options and again many different suggestions. You can also use the undo button at the top to return to your original view. You can choose the number of columns you like or make your WordPress theme look like a standard website with no columns and the navigation in the header. You can move it to the top or use it down the bottom. It's your choice. Once you have the main style set up, you can focus in on your background and again, here are many suggestions or drill down to choose your own specific preferences. An interesting option here is the use of glares, which allow you to use overlays etc for greater visibility. These are available in both the background and header, if you choose to use one. In the sheet settings, you can control the main page, choosing colors, sizes and much more. You can add corners to your site, adjust the padding, borders and everything else to do with your theme. Also in the sheet, you can choose a number of other options such as transparency, which this theme has at the moment. We can also just turn that off, which I'm going to do now. In the header section, you can use many of the graphics the program provides for both header and overlays. If you have the home edition, you will not be able to add your own graphics. However, the standard version gives you the ability to customize even further by adding your own images to nearly all the sections where images are used. Also, if you like using your title and slogan on your site, you have full control over how it looks and where it is positioned. By opening up the header images, I can also add my own designs and let me show you how that works. I'm going to remove the title etc 
as my image contains all that I want for this feature. The menu section allows you to choose all the different facets of your menu, even adding drop downs and the ability to change the colours, fonts, etc. that appear in those drop downs. This next section is the most exciting addition to version 2, and it's called the article section. This allows you to control all the facets of the area where you'll be adding your content. All the changes happen in real time, and you can scroll down the page to see the effect your changes have made. You can change the font, the text, layout, padding, and once again, you have the complete ability to customize it exactly how you want it, or again, use the suggestion tool. The block system allows you to manipulate the sidebar and how it looks. And you can again choose all the different functions, colors, fonts, etc. This means that you can make your whole site look very professional because all your colors and schematics will all link up together, making sure you have a theme that is consistent throughout. Buttons allow you to create your own buttons and the final menu gives you full control over how your footer is styled. Once you are finished, save the file in the proprietary format to open later and edit even more. Once you are happy with your theme, simply export it to a folder and upload to your WordPress system and activate in the Themes tab. So here is my finished theme at the IM Club. I really hope you enjoyed this short overview and look forward to seeing your creations in the near future. Be sure to come and visit us at the Internet Marketers Club 